welcome back to this video now we're going to solve a coding interview question that was asked by google jump game you're given an array of negative integers and you're initially positioned at the first index of the array each element in the array represent your maximum jump length at that position determine if you're able to reach the last index for example if you're given this array for example if you're given this array of integers you have to determine if you can reach the last index for example if you're given this array of integers you have to determine if you can reach the last index and we're initially positioned at this index 0 here we have maximum jump length 2 so we can make her 2 to it from 0 index we can go to this index 1 or we can go to this index 2 if we go to this index 1 from here we can make 3 to it first choice is that we can go from here to this index 2 or from here to this index 3 or from here to this index 4 so we see that from the first position if we jump to this index 1 from here if we jump to this index 4 we can reach the last index of this array so in this case we have to return true if you are given this particular array as input let's see if we can reach the last index initially we are positioned at this 0th index here we have the maximum jump length 3 so we can make here 3 to it we can jump to this index 1 or we can jump to this index 2 or we can jump to this index 3 if we jump to this index 1 from this index 0 then from here we can make 2 to it from here we can go to this index 2 or from here we can go to this index 3 so we see that we're at index 3 from here we can't do a jump so we're stuck here now let's check if you're at here from here we can make one choice only that we can go to this index 3 and again we see that we're stuck here if we jump to this index 2 from the index 0 from here we can do one jump and we can reach at this index 3 we again stuck here if we jump from this index 0 to the index 3 we have the maximum jump length at index 3 0 so again we're stuck here so we can't reach the last index of this array so in this case we have to return false now let's see how we can solve this problem for sake of understanding let's assume this is our given input array now how we can solve this problem we're going to use two pointer position and priv so position for po and priv for pr initially position pointing to the last index and priv is pointing to position minus one so four minus one is three so pre so pre point to this index three now what we're going to do is that we're going to find the difference of the two pointer that is four minus three one then we're going to check does one is less than or equal to the value we have at position pointer in this case we have value 4 so 4 is greater than 1 and that is true so we're going to move the two pointer to the left position will point here and priv will point here again we're going to find the difference of the two index for position and priv pointer that is 3 minus 2 1 then we're going to check this value 
does this value is greater than or equals to 1? Yes, it is. So let's move the two pointer to the left by 1. Again, we're going to find the difference of the two index for two pointer. 2 minus 1 is 1, and the value we have at position pointer is 1. So 1 is greater than or equals to 1. So let's move the two pointer by 1. Again, we're going to find the difference of the two index, and that is 1 minus 0 is 1. And the value we have here is 3. So 3 is greater than or equals to 1. Then we're going to move the 2 pointer to the left. So position will point to the first index and prev will point to minus 1. Whenever we see position pointer points to the index 0, that means we can reach the last index of this array. So in this case, we'll return true. Now if you're given this particular array as input then how we can find then how we can determine if we can reach the last index so let's use a two pointer position and prev now we're going to find the difference of the index for two pointer 4 minus 3 is 1 does 1 is less than or equals to 4 yes it is 1 is less than 4 so let's move the two pointer to the left all right then let's find out the difference of the index for position and pre pointer that is 3 minus 2 is 1 and we have value here 0. Does 1 is less than or equals to 0? No, this is false. If we found this condition false, then we'll move the pre pointer to the left, not position, just prev. So pre point here. Now let's find out the difference of the two index. 3 minus 1, that is 2. Does 2 is less than or equals to 0? No, this is false. Let's move pre pointer to the left again. Here we see that the difference of the two index for prev and position pointer, that is 3 minus 0, 3. Then we're going to check, does 3 less than or equals to 0? No, this condition is false. So let's move peer pointer to the left. In this case, we see that peer pointer pointing to the index minus 1. So we're done. In this case, we're going to check. Does position equals to index 0? No, position equals to index 3. If we found position is not equals to 0, then we'll simply return false. Now let's see how my solution might look like in pseudocode. First, I'm going to declare a function can jump that takes nums array as input. Let's suppose that this is our given input. Then we're going to declare to pointer position and prev. Position point right here and prev point right here. Then we're going to run a loop for i from position to zero. Okay. Then we're gonna check if position minus prev that is four minus three. If that is less than or equals to nums i in this case 4 so we see that 4 minus 3 1 and that is less than or equals to 4 and here we have position not equals to 0 and this is a boundary check then we're going to move the two pointer to the left so this will point here po position and pre point here pr then again let's check this condition position minus prev so 3 minus 2 equals to 1 and that is less than or equals to numsi numsi in this case is 1 so let's move the two pointer to the left again in this case again let's check does 2 minus 1 is less than or equals to 1 yes it is so let's move the two pointer to the left again all right in this case we see that 1 minus 0 and that is less than or equals to 3 so this condition again true so let's move them to the left in this case we see that position point to the first index and peer points to minus one and we're done with this for loop and if we have this condition false then we'll move the pre pointer to the left okay in this case at the end we have position equals to zero if we have position equals to zero then we'll return true if not we'll return false in this case, it will return true because we have position equals to 0. This solution will take bigger of n time complexity since we are iterating 
through this array only once and the solution will take constant space complexity since here we are just using two variable position and prev all right guys hope this concept was clear if you have any question if you have any suggestion let us know in the comment thanks for watching this video i will see you in the next video